Okay, hello, welcome to another Habisinia. I'm Helen. I'm Berno. And today we're looking at a question from, well, it's about relationships, so it must be from the Romance Academy pack. Ooh, okay. And I believe you've still got the question I've, over there. I've got it here, yeah, otherwise I'll forget. So, question yep. is, why do you think people choose to get married? Have you chosen to get married? I chose to... Long story. I'm not married. Uh, okay, I just not play married. with jewellery okay. rings. I'm married. I've been married. I'm going to be married 10 years this year. Wow. So, so I guess I, I... Yeah, I can answer that question, why people... But before I do, like, I, I'm thinking in today's day, people... Mm. You know, you get, you get into a relationship, you move in together, you end up having children, and like, you don't have this whole formal ceremony business and get the law involved in anything. Well, yeah. Life just goes on, it's quite, it's just it how just it should be, isn't it? It carries on, there's, there's nothing, there's no great, it's not like you've got all of your neighbours going shh, shh at the window and they're not married and they're living together. There's no shame or anything. No, no, like that was what it used to be like, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, I think 50 years ago, I don't know, when you were little, was that... Um, I was little, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there would have been gossip, even sort yeah. of their 80s, definitely okay. before that, yeah. by the signs of things. Like when I, so growing up in South Africa, mm. that, was, that was definitely the case. People, it was frowned upon if you were living together before you were married. That mm. was like, oh, you don't do that. That's not, it's not, it's not how we do things here. But, then, yeah. but, but we've changed. Like society it's completely is, different society now. is changing. Some mm. people see that as we're moving on, we're moving forward. Yeah. Um, I'm not so sure um, <laughs> on certain things anyway. <laughs> but, but that's the thing, like, you're in this loving relationship with each other. Yeah. Why do you want to get the law involved? Well, this, I mean, for us, it's sort of the whole wedding, God, etc., etc. but just on a practical level. So, but you can do that. Like, you can, I think you can. Well, no, maybe not in England. You, but no, because our weddings are tied in with too much with, with it's that whole Anglican established church. Yeah. That's on But I think with any with any mm. with any religious ceremony there's yeah. the law side is kind of incorporated into the whole ceremony. You can't separate it, the two. Well you can separate the two, but mm. the legal bit still has to be yeah, done. Yeah, it's yeah. You could, there's still separate wedding blessings and stuff. Yeah, but which why, could be why not just have why why involve the legal well, stuff? Well why get because well so I, I was engaged to someone before um, and we were living together before we got married because that just worked for us. Yeah. I know people say not ideal, not not ideal, etc, etc, but um, that was what, how it was working out. Um, but he, he was chronically ill and passed away before we could get married. Right. So I was living in his house. His name was on an awful lot of the paperwork because it was his house. And after in a different world, because I had no, I wasn't married. I had no claim on what had been my home for the previous two yeah, yeah. two years or so. So that relationship suddenly ended. Yes. And like that left you in a. It could have. It could. I will point this out. Okay. Um, my mother-in-law, his mum, is absolute. I, we're not married. I still call her my mother-in-law. That's. Just to put that's the relationship you have, I guess. That's, that's the relationship that's, we have with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's w absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And yeah, she it was my home. She she was looking at it, it was a they were gonna get married, to, but it's still her home, and so okay. I inherited the property so and even, that was easy. Even though she was the next of kin, she would have yes. had it all. Yes. Because of her values, she decided like yes. that wouldn't be right and actually like, Yeah, there was a lot of complicated lawyer stuff for that to okay. happen, yeah, the yeah, easiest yeah. thing. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. And yeah, definitely looking through things. Um, yeah, if that had happened, if we had been married, there's an awful lot. Of, there was an awful lot of stuff to do with the arrangements that I couldn't do because I was not next of kin because we weren't married. Okay. And so I had to leave that all, yeah. a lot of stuff to her. To her to sort out. Yeah. So, so just from a practical, from a really yeah. harsh sounding practical <laughs> level. If everything goes horribly, horribly wrong, it makes life so much easier. Okay. okay. So <laughs> if, that's the, that's because otherwise there's no, there's nothing to say. Wow. Yeah. No concrete evidence. Yeah. yeah it's horrible. Yeah. But no, I know definitely. But that's that's yeah. Sheesh. That's <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. That is really wild. It's it's an interesting okay. one. But why why and would so, you actually want to get married? Well, on a... So now that really makes sense. Why you would want to involve the law? Because if something happens, if the relationship was to in end our suddenly, country, yeah, then you have that failsafe. That 
I'm sure a lot of us have also got stories of um, friends or family who are living together and then they split up and the other half kicks them out and yeah. they realise that, yeah. oh, it's the other half's name on all of the paperwork. Yeah. So now there's no evidence that I'm any good at paying bills, so my credit yeah. history is shot. There's no yeah. evidence I lived here, so I can't get a, another property because I can't get a landlord reference. Yeah, yeah, and all those things, yeah. So yeah. unless you... There's okay. an awful lot more work you've got to do. So that's a real practical element mm. then. I get part of the reason to get married is that yeah. you have... It's in your benefit, really. Mm. It's just in your benefit for Yeah, for just life. the way the way everything's set up. Yeah, We're still... Yeah. There is still very much a default that people are married, it's and if you're not... Yeah. Which is interesting complicated. as our society is changing because mm. we're accepting... A, you know, that, that is a lot more accepted now. Mm. People... If you live together and you have children together and you're not married, like that's that's not a problem. That's just the way it is, and that's quite normal, isn't it? Yeah, it's very normal. But yeah, if something was to happen, if that relation was to break up one way mm. or another, someone is going to be in a really sticky situation. And that's the thing with, I guess, with marriage, you've got divorce, and so mm. that's where the legal side comes in, and you can split things and mm. get lawyers involved, and it yeah. gets very heated and. Mm. And that's the sad thing, really, with a relationship that breaks down in that way is yeah. it's very intense and very, yeah, you've got a lot of invested stuff together. So, mm. so, and so then I asked the question, why would you want to get married if that's the case? Because getting the law involved seems like such a stress, but Well, then, then I think about myself. Okay, why did I get married? Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> that might be easier than me trying to pontificate and think yeah. and wonder. So oh, I'm, no, why did you I'm, get married? So, I'm not sure, did I say earlier, I'm going to be married 10 years this year. And um, the reason we got married was, well, first of all, it was that relationship of love. You know, you, mm. you, you like each other and you see how this relationship progresses and you love. And, but also, as Christians, we're both Christians. And that's kind of the dumb thing, really, in Christian yeah. circles. You have a ceremony in his church and the law thing is um, mm. combined in that. But I think for us, the really important thing was the vows, the promises you make to each other. Yeah. And for my wife Lucy and I, we actually memorized our vows for the, for the service. So that, mm. um, yeah, I can't remember them now. <laughs> <laughs> but they're in there somewhere. <laughs> but, but, but I'm sure you at least remember the gist of them, sort of, even if you're not word perfect, yeah, you know what you us, did promise. That was the most important part of the ceremony. Mm. We are here to say, like, we're going to live a life together and mm. we're going to make promises that whatever we go through, we're going to stick together. So yeah. in that sense, we didn't go into this marriage thinking, OK, well, if things don't work out, we can always divorce. Like, mm. that's not on the table. Like, divorce, no. is, divorce is worst case scenario. Mm. That's the... I don't want that. I really don't want that. And so if you can go into a relationship or marriage thinking that, then you'd want to work on mm. the stuff because as soon as you live with someone, yeah. you get in each other's space and there's going to be friction and there's going to be conflict and <laughs> you might have to give some of your own stuff up for that person. And so that mm. can, you can then say, actually, I'm, I'm fed up with you and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. But no, we, we found that through our marriage in the past 10 years, as people, we've become better people because we had to be more considerate of each other. Mm. And, and so I would say, why would you choose to get married? There's the legal practical side. I think that's really important. Yeah. That is very, very important because relationships do break up. It does, it does happen. And so you need to re be actually very sure before you get into a relationship, mm. whether you get married or not, you need to... And that's kind of the beginning, beginning stages is figuring out how well do we work together because after yeah. the after the butterflies fly away like things change <laughs> yeah and so particularly when you're in that stage of can you use quotes on it being a proper adult rather than <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm still working on that <laughs> it feels like a yeah but you know <laughs> yeah so so you have to be yeah you have to really think it through mm. before you really commit to someone like even I think even moving in with someone like that's a big move to me that's yes. like getting married to me that's that's the same thing as getting married because okay because my wife and I we before we got married we didn't live together and mm. so until we got married we right. lived together and I, I think as soon as you start sharing that space you start having to pay bills yeah. together, you have to do all that that to me is the start of marriage because you're 
your lives are becoming so intertwined with each other. Mm. And you, that's a big, that's a big thing. It's a big change. That's a huge change. Yeah. That's, that's what I think. Anyway. So you have to be think through very carefully. Do I really mm. want to do that with this person? Because you don't want to get yourself in a place where it ends messy. Yeah, or it, even just a sort of a you're stuck. You've signed yourself in on a twelve month letting agreement, yeah. and you don't like them, but you're now stuck yeah. until the end because you've still got to pay the rent on that one. You can't afford to move out yet. So, so yeah, mm. why choose to be married? <laughs> but this is it's turning a bit like I feel it's like oh, it's a bit of a downer. It's not. It's, it's great. Not, it's brilliant no. because I think the biggest thing is as a person, if you're willing to give yourself up for the other person in terms yeah. of stuff like that is where real love lies that is yeah. what marriage is about that's where that promise is like you're sticking to your promises this is hard i don't want to do this but i know that for the benefit of our relationship actually mm. it's gonna work and then you grow you just grow together and you find love deepening and yeah and and then there's the practical side i think that stuff really helps and it's easier <laughs> it's just the way my brain works it's easier for me to talk about the practical stuff than the yeah, yeah, lovey-dovey yeah. bits and pieces yeah. but yeah, you don't... I think that also comes with age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you start thinking a bit more practical as well. Yeah. yeah. Because when you're young and it's new and it's exciting, you just, you just go with a feeling, don't you? You, you like, fall head over heels in love like, and we'll, one of you eventually proposes to the other and of course you and, do. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort those things out when we need to. We don't yeah. need to move through. And that's really good. I think that's really good. Yeah. But part of that is, yeah, you start learning the practicalities as well. So... Mm. so I would highly recommend marriage, but I'd also say be, yeah, be careful because when you commit yourself to someone, it's going to, it's going to change you for the better, actually. Or it definitely should change you for the better, at least. Yeah, otherwise you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, there you go. Hopefully yes. you're all getting married soon, but if you don't want to get married, well... <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get married. <laughs> Sometimes I say things without thinking. <laughs> you, can, you can write about that in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking more, take, take time, choose someone carefully, yeah. not don't rush into it. That was where I would have gone with thank that you. one. And that's why we have <laughs> Helen, our love expert here. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Have a senior. Have a senior. Hi, Jeff.